Since its inception, InFarm has deployed over 1,400 farms in grocery stores and InFarm growing centers, saving over 16 million gallons of water and 600,000 square feet of land, while harvesting over a million plants every month. This is the first video of our Disruptor series, and it profiles InFarm, an agricultural technology company that wants to change how food gets to your table. InFarm is a vertical farming platform founded in Berlin in 2013 by Onsnat Mikaeli and brothers Erez and Guy Galonska. They grew their own crops because they were passionate about healthier foods and self-sufficiency. Burning to share the benefits of self-grown produce, they developed an intelligent modular farming system that allows the distribution of vertical farms throughout the urban environment. This farming system aims to grow fresh produce in practically any available space and meet almost any market demand. InFarm employs over 1,000 people worldwide and has partnerships with over 30 major food retailers in North America, Europe and Asia, including Amazon Fresh, Aunkan, FarmDrop, Intermarche, Kroger and Whole Foods Market. Because InFarm already has partnerships with 25 major food retailers in Germany, Switzerland and France, investors were convinced that InFarm was a highly scalable venture during this first stage of Series B funding. However, InFarm's next critical challenge was to scale quickly and efficiently. The Series B round yielded $88 million, which the company allocated to scaling by expanding into new markets in Europe and the United States and growing its R&D, research and development, operational and commercial teams. The company has since raised a successful Series D round, which we will discuss later. Today, InFarm is expanding its global farming network to help cities become self-sufficient in food production while significantly improving safety, quality and environmental footprint through cutting-edge R&D, patented technologies and a multidisciplinary team. In addition to distributing its smart modular farms, InFarm installs, plants, harvests and maintains them. Farms are decentralized at client locations throughout the urban environment to reduce transport routes for fresh food while maintaining high quality products. InFarm generates revenue by charging clients a monthly subscription fee per farm. InFarm's operations require a substantial degree of physical assets. Unlike software companies, InFarm must install hardware components of its farming systems in advance. InFarm offers its B2B clients an indoor vertical farming system to cultivate herbs, lettuce, vegetables and fruits. Business to business B2B, refers to transactions between companies rather than between a company and an individual customer. Examples include the relationship between a manufacturer and a wholesaler and a wholesaler and a retailer. Although in 2017, Organic Foods had a total market capitalization of $37.3 billion in Europe alone, the market is still considered relatively untapped compared to processed foods. However, in light of climate change, the food industry must adapt. The average distance between producers and retailers is 2,500 kilometers due to the transportation of food accounting for 17% of global CO2 emissions. As civil society puts increasing pressure on politicians and traditional businesses, InFarm has positioned itself as a leader of the vertical farm market, which is one of the world's highest growth potentials. Consider sharing this video with friends and family who are nerdy about vertical farming, aka urban farming. Currently, InFarms are in few urban grocery stores in Germany, such as Edeka and Metro. Furthermore, InFarm customizes its modules to fit any space and designs them for easy integration into a city's existing infrastructure. InFarm manages the farms remotely via sensors and a centralized cloud-based platform that consistently adjusts and improves itself so that each plant grows better than its predecessor. The platform provides seedlings with an ideal combination of light spectrums, temperature, pH and nutrients for optimal growth. Moreover, InFarm's concept and processes have been refined further with the help of biologists and chefs. The startup does not use pesticides on its farms, uses 95% less water than traditional farms and uses 90% less transportation. 
The largest in-farm module can grow up to 680,000 plants per year on only 25 square meters, making it 420 times more efficient than soil-based agriculture. In 2016, Horizon 2020, Europe's most extensive research and innovation program, awarded InFarm a $2 million grant. InFarm won the grant because the company champions sustainable agriculture through indoor vertical farming that combines hydroponics and proprietary lighting algorithms. Moreover, Horizon 2020 was impressed by InFarm's patented modular growth trays, which creates an incredibly efficient growing environment. In the same year, InFarm partnered with Metro Group, one of Europe's largest wholesalers, and in 2017, the startup received a 4 million euro early venture capital investment. If you want to learn more about vertical farming, download our free report, link in bio. InFarm announced in December 2021 that they had raised $200 million in a Series D round. The Qatar Investment Authority, QIA, led the round, which followed a hundred $70 million Series C raise in 2020. It brings the company's total funding to more than $600 million while raising its valuation to more than $1 billion, establishing it as Europe's first vertical farming unicorn. InFarm co-founder and CEO Erez Galonska stated in a company release that one of the company's core missions is to build a global farming network of climate-resilient vertical farms. He expressed the company's excitement at securing its latest funding. He was confident that the capital would support its rapid worldwide expansion and R&D. This would enable InFarm to grow more crop varieties close to consumers in Europe, Asia, North America and the Middle East. It's another step towards meeting our ambition of growing the entire fruit and vegetable basket in the near future, providing premium products at affordable prices to everyone, he added. Much of the funding will go towards InFarm's international growth strategy, with the company's sights set on the United States, Canada, Japan and other parts of Europe. The company also intends to expand into additional Asia-Pacific markets and the Middle East. The involvement of the QIA in this round is undoubtedly a major factor in the latter. As part of the agreement with QIA, InFarm has committed to establishing a growing centre in Qatar, where it will grow tomatoes, strawberries and other fruits for the region. Vertical farming makes sense for the region because it allows growers to produce crops in climate-controlled buildings using far less water than traditional farming. If you have enjoyed this video, kindly hit that subscribe button. Many vertical farming companies have shifted their focus to fruits as they seek to expand beyond the leafy greens and herbs that have long been in their bread and butter because of the relative ease with which they can grow in controlled indoor settings. InFarm intends to have units in 10,000 supermarkets by the end of 2022 and by 2050 it plans to be the leading supplier of fresh produce to 7 billion urban consumers. We recommend our compelling first sequel in the Disruptor series, a video on Brewdog, an intriguing beverage company that is making waves across the globe. Thanks for watching.